Okay, so as a DevOps man, you, you sometimes feel alone. You, you sometimes feel out in a, on a, in a boat without a, a canoe, without a, without a <laughs> we're out there with the dogs. Uh, you, have the, you, need, you need mechanisms to help you dig out of the rut you are in currently. You've, you've got this huge payload of data that's just ready to go, and you've got a boss that's waiting for it. You've got just looking for, looking for. You're tired of hearing about the Don emails. Yeah, exactly. You've got coworkers re uh, there for you, ready to help out, ready to for a, with a joke. Sort of, you know, as 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 a, as DevOps people, you you kind of feel like it's all an inside joke. tired you want to feel like you just you want to be lazy and take a break and relax with your cats you want to be you want to be really chill and you get very grumpy uh, and that's when if you're like a cat you want to chase those rats um, and uh, those rats of course represent the uh, metrics errors that you see in your uh, code base um, but we don't we don't talk about those um, Eventually, you're going to have to bring your findings to the rest of the team, and boy, is that a big one. Uh, they've been waiting for, for quite some time, and they're going to have about 250 questions for you in a 15-minute meeting. Luckily, you're a professional at answering the, these questions. You're dodging and darting and deflecting as much as you can, sort of acrobatic through the air, uh, and somehow you make it through. We make it through. Yeah. All right, I'm going to tell you everything wrong with Tech Twitter in one minute. So the first problem is that you have a whole bunch of white dudes, old white dudes, telling everybody else what they should do differently. That's it. That's everything that's wrong with Tech Twitter. Uh, no, there's more, but there is more. Besides, besides that problem, you're going to run into this thing where we have these divisions where there's a few folks who are going to try to sort of gatekeep and divide us amongst each other. Well, all we're trying to do is just get paid, right, as we continue to, to, to move through our, our things. But really, we have people like Elon who are going to go and try to just buy Twitter and, and change everything about it, um, which makes it even harder to shit post when you know that uh, you know, you, you're gonna have those filters put in place. But really, the, this is the best thing about Twitter is right here was this moment that happened. So everything that's toxic and awful about Twitter was made better when we had this. And if you don't know what this is about, then you have an assignment to go look that up right now. Thank you. I didn't know I was supposed to come with a topic. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> Ready? Okay. So you might be getting run down with problems. All kinds of problems. Little problems. They're killing you slowly. I want you to remember that code is not your most important resource. It's the people. 15 seconds is longer than you said it was. <laughs> All kinds of people. Even, you know, you want, you want a diverse team. You want different kinds of people. <laughs> You don't want five product owners telling you the same thing. You, you want to branch out. You want people with all kinds of different skills, those UX skills, those development skills, those database skills. And you really need to foster a judgment-free zone. If this is going to work best, we can't be calling each other out. You don't want the product owners calling out the developers. And like we said earlier, please don't developers call out product owners. That's just going to shut down all that creativity. And together, you can build a strong team. I mean the kind of team that can really lift stuff, can really move stuff, can really solve those problems. And at the end of the day, everyone else goes, dang. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do folks want to hear about containers? Yes. <laughs> containers? Sure. Yes, OK, I'll do containers. All right. So when we're looking at containers, why? Why are we doing this in the first place? I mean, it's just 
Docker and Kube and I don't know, <laughs> um, Tecton. This thing right here on my short ship, right? Why are we doing this? I'm just so confused. Um, but like, there are actually a lot of people who might be able to help out. There's actually a lot of buddies there in the community. If you reach out to them, they love talking to you and they might talk your head off. Um, you might be a little scared. You might think that someone's trying to sell you something, that they're trying to rip you off. Uh, they're seriously sus, like <laughs> really just want to like get away from them. But honestly, like go out to the actual open source community. You'll find some goats out there. There's some really awesome people. They can do amazing things. They have the years of experience. They've gotten, they've, they've succeeded. They've also failed. They've hurt themselves. They've got back up. Uh, they'll be able to help you out. Uh, and this was kind of awesome, and <laughs> uh, I hope I can be one of those people, too, who's awesome, too, so uh, please talk to me. <laughs> awesome. All right, a round of applause. Come on, let's hear it. That was fantastic.